All right, who among us does not want to cut that stinking cable bill down to nothing? Well, I did it, and I, I get to watch 55 regular TV channels anytime I want to for free. Uh, I also get to watch a thousand movies. I mean, every night I'm watching a different movie, and I do that several different ways for free. So if you want to cut the cable, cut that bill, then follow along with what I'm going to tell you. Now, I do have Wi-Fi. That costs me because I have to get stuff up on YouTube, whatever. I uh, need to go online. And that's how you get some of these free movies anyway. You need at least Wi-Fi. I pay $49.95 a month for Wi-Fi. That's all I have. And let me show you the three different ways that I get all this kind of stuff for free. Be right back. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how do I get the 55 channels on my, I have a, a device in my bedroom, a TV in my bedroom. I have one in my daughter's room. I have one in my uh, living room and I have a 65 inch in my family room. I got all these rooms. Anyway, here's how I get the TV. I'll show you. Step number one, it's a $35 investment that you make one time for an outdoor rotorized TV antenna. Watch. Now for my 65 inch TV in the living room, I have this $35 Amazon outdoor antenna, good for 150 miles. I get 55 channels on that. I ran a wire down the pole, along the ground, and then I ran it straight up right into my attic and then from the attic down into the living room. Real easy process. So there it is, 55 channels for free. Now, if you don't want to wire things up, here's what I did. I bought another antenna for, at my when I bought them, they were only $29. On Amazon now they're 35, <clears throat> as I've already pointed out. But as you can see, if you hook it up, even in a room, I still get 50 some odd channels. Now watch, I'll just change a few of them with my remote. 3.3, I'm in North Carolina. I get 51, I can keep going. 3.4, country western stuff. Then it'll go up to, I don't get eight because it's in South Carolina. I could. On my outdoor antenna, oh, let me go back one. Channel nine, 9.2 Spanish TV, 50 channels, just by hooking up one of these in your bedroom. And you see on the shelf over there is my, um, that little box that runs the, that turns the antenna on and gives you amplification. I also have a workshop in my garage, so I bought another one. I mean, for 29 bucks, well, 35 now, 35 bucks to get 50 channels for free. Why not have it in my shop, right? My little air conditioned shop. I'll show you the TV. First of all, there's the entrance into my little shop. And there's my little setup on my TV. This one happened to have been a $99 TV, but it's out in my workshop as you can see pretty cool right so in my living room on the 65 inch color tv i get a zillion channels the wi-fi is right up there on the top shelf now i could flip through the channels channel 3.2 3.3 3.4 3.5 Point. I can go all the way up to 55 channels for free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. Now, from TV mode, I'm going to hit the source mode. I want to show you, I'll move it down to HDMI 1, just for kicks and giggles. This is Chromecast I have on that. What Chromecast is, it's a $35, I'll bring that up in a minute, but it's a $35 device you buy on Amazon. 
And with Chromecast, you can cast anything from your Android or Apple phone right up onto your TV set using that. Um, but I'm going to not bore you. I'm going to move down to um, one more HDMI 2. This is uh, a thing called Kodi, K-O-D-I. It's a little device you could buy. I don't use it anymore, but I want to explain it. It's a little on the technical side to hook it up, believe me. But with the crew here, I get movies like, I mean, all kinds of movies. Or I have uh, two or three other sources on my Kodi, which is really Raspberry Pi. If you Google Raspberry Pi, P-I, you'll see uh, and know a little bit more about that device. But then I'm going to now move into the one I use pretty much all of the time. And that is HDMI 3. I'm going to push a little button on this guy. It's really um, a Roku device. My son bought it for me. It was 49, no, 29 bucks. And I that I use a lot. Now I'm going to push a button on my remote on the side. Watch this. Uh, it says home. Now I can go to the right and I can get film rise, tons of movies, prime video. I get that uh, because I have a friend of mine that actually lets me use their um, password to get into there. So I use that now and then. Roku channel, live TV. Uh, you, you can add these. You can add anything. You can add Fox News. You can add YouTube to this very thing, this Roku. Uh, I use Crackle quite a bit. Let me snap it on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, log in for free. Skip for now. Just hit skip and you'll go right into the movies. Uh, TV shows, a million of them, action, whatever you want. It's free. Uh, movies, comedy, drama, sports, romance, thriller, holiday. I go into action quite a bit. So I just hit action. And as you can see, I can skip through all kinds of stuff. Um, I can move to sort by A to Z, move down, uh, keep going. Vengeance movies, uh, aftermath. It's, it just keeps going. Like I said, thousands of movies. But let me back out of this one more time. Like that. And I'm back to what I like the most is Roku itself has a Roku channel. Notice I have Rumble there, YouTube, what, Hulu, Apple TV, right on the Roku device. That's my HDMI input number three. But watch, let me click on Roku channel. This is for free. F-R-E-E. -E. Now, here you go. He featured. Let me move in a little closer for you. There it says featured. I can move it down. Trending now movies. Uh, new this month. Continue watching. Recommend it for you. A lot of good movies on that, too. Uh, last chance to watch for free. Watch it again. Not on Netflix. A bunch of other movies popular on the Roku channel. Again, live TV, comedies. Everything's there. So, what can I tell you? All right, so now I'm going to go from TV with my remote right here. To the menu, just to show you about the TV. Go to menu, and then I go over to channels at the end. You, as you can see, it says air and cable. I have air checked because I want to see how many channels I can get. Then you push the um, the select button again, which I did, <clears throat> and. Move it down one time for auto scan. Start to scan. Now, it's going to do a little, this will take a minute. <clears throat> and it says RF channels. Now, 
those are long gone. It's all digital. But you will see it'll start saying found and it'll start showing the digital channels. Right now, it's found two. whoop de doo right? And it's continuing to scan, 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 based upon where you have your antenna aimed. It's now at nine channels that it's found. And, you know, get a cup of coffee if you want to while you're waiting. 21. So it just keeps gaining channels. It, it seeks them. It finds them. And I'm on the North Carolina, South Carolina border within 30 minutes. So now I'm at 25 channels, 30 channels. Uh, it's scanned through 25 RF channels, which means nothing. Again, when you see found, it's talking about actual real channels, digital, 44 channels there. And then when it's done scanning, by the way, 49 channels, I told you I get... 50 channels or more. Uh, anyway, when it's all done scanning, it'll go to your bottom most channel. In my case in North Carolina, it's channel 3.1. So it will probably go there next. If I move my antenna a tad bit more toward the south, I could pick up 51 channels. So I get uh, the channels 2.1, 2.3 out of uh, south South Carolina, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. So actually, 55 channels I can get. It's still showing 49. It's probably reached its peak, usually when it stops at a number like that. Uh, while it's searching, it's uh, it's going to end up there. It scanned through 64 RF channels, 65, which means nothing. Now watch. It'll stop, and it'll go right to channel 3.1. Boom, 3.1. See, there we go. Look at how clear this stuff is. It's like HD. It's beautiful. It's free again. F-R-E-E. -E. Okay, so the first thing out of my three ways to get all these free TV and movie channels is the outdoor antenna. We've already explained that, but let me go get the picture of what it is so that you can order one if you are so inclined. And this is the guy that you buy up on Amazon. You see it's $35. It's called HDTV, and it really is HDTV. Amplified, the, uh, there's a little uh, black box with a wire coming out of it, as you can see, uh, with a little red dot in the top left-hand corner. That is the uh, TV that turns on the antenna sends power through your uh, coaxial cable out to your antenna. And then the thing to the item to the left of it, the little thing with the two red buttons, is what you can turn the antenna from your easy chair in your living room. Just aim it at that black box with the red button on the top. The thing to the far right there is just the power supply for the box. So you get all of that stuff for 35 bucks. With a 150 mile range, they're, not, they're probably not lying too badly. Um, but uh, Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina is 30 miles away from where I am. So I get all of those channels, plus a few more north of there. And I also can spin the rotor around and pick up uh, some South Carolina channels as well. Again, South Carolina channels might be 50 miles away, but it's a heck of a good antenna. They don't pay me a nickel for this. Nobody that I mention here pays me a nickel to promote their products. I just happen to buy them, use them, try them, like them or reject them. If I reject them, you'll know about it. But anyway, that's the outdoor antenna thing. Now you've already seen how you set your TV menu to go and scan the channels once this is up. And you've, I've already shown you the, the how to stick it on a pole in the ground and, and run the wire up through your attic and down through whatever room you want. In fact, with a splitter, you can run it to your living room and off the splitter, like a three-way splitter, you can run another cable, if you're in the attic anyway, 
run it over to your bedroom or bedroom two, bedroom three, whatever you want to do. It's open season, free. Well, 35 bucks for this. So the second of three methods that I use to get free movies, in fact, this is really a beautiful thing. It's called Google Chromecast. It's $29.99. Just Google the words Google Chromecast. You plug it into your, your um, HDMI input, number two in my case. But with that device, you can take your little cell phone and, and broadcast anything. Whatever you can get, movies, whatever, on your cell phone, you can get up on your Chromecast. Now, I also use Chromecast because I, um, I have a, an NFL season pass thing that cost me 49 bucks to get all the football games in the world from August when the preseason starts all the way through till the Super Bowl. That I like and I use this Chromecast to be able to do that. I just run it from my cell phone right up through the Chromecast, which is HDMI 2, and I get all my football games in lovely HD living color. Third method is coming right up. And the third method, which is plugged into my uh, HDMI output number three that you've already seen, is this Roku. Now, again, my son bought it for $29.99, which you could buy, but you really ought to have that. Now, if you happen to have a Roku TV, you get all this stuff as part of the Roku TV. What I don't, I have one in my bedroom. What I don't like about the Roku TV itself is that you can get, um, you have to use their little stupid remote. Now, let's say I want to change my channel or whatever. My big TV, 65 inch TV, has a remote so I can change all kinds of movies. Uh, but in the Roku system here, uh, they also give you a little remote, but I can hit the Roku like I showed you anyway, and you get it, you get Film Rise, you get Roku TV, you get Roku movies, you get uh, YouTube, whatever you want to add to this Roku device for $29.95 plugged in your HDMI input, you're going to get it. it most of the, the stuff is free. So if I want to watch YouTube, I can. If I want to watch uh, movies, and I do, almost every night, I plug in, hit the Roku on my source uh HDMI 3, and I go through that down the Roku channel, and then I find movies, action, which I like, and then I can watch a new movie every single night. I can go to Prime, I can do whatever I want to do, so can you. So there's the three methods that I use to only have Wi-Fi and not pay any anything for direct TV or cable TV, movies, and all that kind of crap. Okay, so that's it. If you have any uh, questions, drop a, a little note down below on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to subscribe, goody, goody, goody. You can always use somebody else coming into the fold. And I'm always doing how-tos. When I have a very difficult time finding stuff like getting rid of squirrels out of the attic, I do a YouTube video. When I want to move files from... Windows 7 to Windows 10, which drove me nuts, and there was nothing I could find on YouTube or anywhere else how to do it, then once I figured out how to do it, I have that on my YouTube channel too. So every now and then, plus I do country music, and I'm pretty good at it, I guess, because I have 2,600 followers, which is cool. Anyway, see you next time.